Today's episode of Daily Scuba News is sponsored by Scuba Diver Magazine, but more about them later. So the charity Scuba Diving for All, or SDA, has received the UK's highest honour for voluntary groups, the Queen's Award for Voluntary Service, thanks to all of their hard work and what they do for our society. So the SDA was set up 17 years ago in North Yorkshire, Watch it, Yorkshire, Stop it. lads. Stop it. Yorkshire. <laughs> to provide scuba diving t- tuition uh, for people with a variety of disabilities. Today, more than 30 volunteers, ranging from 10 to 78, that's pretty cool, that's yeah. a pretty good age gap, uh, help with providing one on one instruction for up to 30 people at a time at the Ripon. Let's pronounce that, isn't it? I would say that Ripon Spa Baths, enabling those with extreme disabilities and those without disabilities experiencing exhilarating. Oh, okay, this is the bit that to you experience. Yeah. To experience the exhilarating sport of scuba diving. So these volunteers also help raise funds needed so they can offer diving lessons with either heavily subsidized rates or in some cases completely free. So the SDA are offering paddy courses and specialities from Discover Scuba all the way up to instructor level and they're also helping to use diving as a form of therapy to get people out of their wheelchairs or off their crutches and get them to explore the underwater world. So as far as we know the SDA is the only charity that offers such opportunities for people with and without special needs twice a week and also it's the first scuba diving charity to receive the Queen's Award which is just awesome. But if you want to give a shout out to your charity that does something similar, now's your chance. So let us know in the comments below. Okay, before we finish up uh, this story, let's hear from today's sponsor. So Scuba Diver Magazine is a monthly publication which is available in most countries and covers the latest news stories so you can keep up to date with the latest news in and around the scuba diving industry. Scuba Diver also covers all three aspects of modern scuba diving, training, travel and equipment with how-to guides and reviews on the latest gear and trends. Uh, you can also join the discussion over at scubadivermag.com with plenty of articles, news stories, dive site reviews and advice. To find out more about Scuba Diver Magazine, just click in the link pinned in the comments below. Anyway, back to the story. So Scuba Diving for All says that beneficiaries are often excluded from many activities by virtue of their disabilities or circumstances. Exclusion from these activities can be harmful and contributes to other negative effects on their lives and they're 100% right they're using diving as an inclusive way to enrich these people's lives so well done SDA if you want to find out more about them then of course we've pinned their website in the comments below and that's pretty much it for the today's video go check them out yeah. um, once again thank you scuba diver magazine for sponsoring this episode thank you for watching and of course safe diving this site was first discovered in the 1900s, or the beginning of the 1900s, by a bunch of sponge divers. You know those divers. Sponge divers. Yeah, yeah, disgusting people. And ever since then, when any when an underwater indie visits the site, they always bring back something cool. But this is the first time human remains has been ever found. 